Hello and welcome to 1806. If you're new to the channel, my family and I bought this old stone house about three years ago now, and we've been renovating it week to week, paycheck to paycheck, and learning as we go. Definitely made some mistakes, but no one has been seriously injured, and we're still happily married. Currently, I'm working in the downstairs bathroom. It's one of three bathrooms that the house will have. So if our channel is something that you think you might enjoy, hit the subscribe button and start watching. I don't know how you found us, but I'm glad you did. Now let's get to this week's episode. Hello everyone! Welcome, Welcome back to 1806! <laughs> Just wanted to take a second here and just say thank you so much to Doug and Ashley from DIY Different down. They gave us a huge shout out and it's just amazing. Escaping baby. Escaping! Hello! Hello! Do you want to get in the box? Do you want me to get in the box? Do you want mommy to get in the box? We have had so many comments and likes that it's almost impossible to keep up with it at this point. We also want to say thank you to everyone that came to check us out and all our supporters that have been with us for a long time. We really appreciate everybody watching. <laughs> so thank you so much. Welcome all new subscribers. I hope you like the channel. But let's get to this week's episode, shall we? Yeah. Remember to like and share the video. And then we're going to say, um... We hope you will enjoy this week's episode. Thank you. Oh, this is what I've always wanted. Back in the bathroom downstairs, last week you saw me cutting and putting the tile on the wall. Tile looks good. You have to thin set these tiles to the wall. And that makes it very, very permanent. Now, for the fun part. Sarah made a really good point the other day. At one point we were going to put a claw foot bathtub in here. And, you know, long story short, it's a couple videos back. We just kind of came to the conclusion that to put a claw foot bathtub in here seems like a waste of space because, you know, the house has two other full bathrooms. This downstairs bathroom is really more about just having a quick toilet and a quick sink. I know that a lot of people have expressed their concern for us, like when we get older, having a shower. You know, when we come to that bridge, we will cross it. But for now, we don't need to. And we would rather have room for like a piece of furniture, um, a big stand-up mirror, something. But anyways, no more clawfoot bathtub. So then what that does is, Sarah said, well, if we're not going to put the bathtub in here, then we really should put another electrical socket on this back wall. And I said, that's a great idea. And I am going to do that right now. I hope that explains it. I will probably have to edit a lot of that down, Lucas. Because you seem to talk a lot sometimes. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true. I feel a million eyes, but I can just see you. No rain, no thunder, it is just your light, your voice, the heaven of our kiss, the wonder of our choice, so breathe. Your hands, your 
got the hole all cut out and I do have my wire roughly ran, but Sarah's uh, getting a really bad migraine, so I'm gonna end it for today. Just run home so I can help, um, you know, watch the kids and she usually has to go to sleep or something and take one of her migraine pills. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. That's been a interesting couple, two, three hours. Sarah had a pretty bad migraine. So instead of just hanging out around the house, um, she really needs to just go to sleep. I took all three kids and we went grocery shopping. <laughs> Wow. And then I also went to Lowe's and picked up a couple things that I needed. These are the boxes that I've always used. I like them a lot. They're adjustable. I dropped this tile, the big tile, on my floor and surprisingly did not break my other marble. Pretty amazing. I kind of shocked. Okay, these little things here, that usually is made to go around a stud, but I'm kind of doing a little different here. So all you do, at least all I've done in the past, when I've had to do something like this, is bend those up and flatten them. All I did was flatten them, and now I have a stud that I put back here, and I'll be able to put this box I'll be able to put that box right, right in there. Perfect. So I'm gonna make sure that the tile fits there. And then I'll go around and I'll do two more screws on the back. So let's get this tile into place. Okay, getting pretty good at it because I've done it quite a few times now. Yeah. Getting real good at that. Didn't crush my fingers once. I actually can bring the box out just a little wee bit more. Box looks good. Box is in, wire is ran. There would have been a day that I would have been somewhat, I don't know, not scared to do this, but intimidated, I guess. But after wiring quite a bit, I feel pretty confident with it. I mean, you don't want to get all, you don't want to get cocky. The minute you get cocky, you get electrocuted. All right, that's in there. I got a staple in there. That's all good. I technically could cover that up right now, but I want to make sure it works before I do that. I got this tester right here that you can plug into a box. Yeah, so that's good. See the two lights? If you can see, there's two lights on, so then you know it's right. It's nice to have another outlet on this other wall. You know, I found old brass outlets from the demo. I forgot that I had these. They would look pretty, they'd look pretty cool. Show you. I don't know if we're gonna use them, that's Sarah's call, but I do, I do like it. So now all I wanna do is, you know, get everything picked up and back together, and then I might start laying tile. Seems like an easy tip, but I'll tell you, keep all your electrical stuff in one spot. It's just so much easier. I think the wise thing for me to do is to start my tile on this side over here. This little structure here is interesting and I haven't showed anybody on YouTube yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would know what this was for. I'll give you a hint. What goes here rhymes with ink. Mix up a bag of mortar and just just go for it, you know? I don't know. There's only so much planning you can do.
first piece of tile. How excitingly terrifying. I'm gonna make sure all the old stuff is off of the tile. I got a really cool comment today and the person said that the ones that were written on that one tile from the last video, the 111, it's very similar to the way they write in Germany. So that's pretty cool. It adds to the story of the tile. Eventually I want to go to the uh, historical center for the town where I got these from and just see, you know, what I can find about that church. You never know till you look. Let's put this first one up and see how it goes, eh? Looks pretty good. And if the tile could be heavier, it is. It's much heavier now because of the thin set, if you're wondering. Oh, jeez. Before I smush any of it down, I want to get it into the corner. I think that's pretty good, Luke. Wow. I'm just gonna, you know, do this for a little bit. I can't even take it off the wall like it's suctioned, but... I think it's on there pretty good. I'm gonna let these set up for a long time. Okay, next piece. To do the next piece, that means I need to take down this piece. Sun up, sun down. I don't think I'm gonna show all of these. I'm doing them all exactly the same. And I think I'm just gonna to try to concentrate and just see how many I can do. I'll check in when I'm done. Oh. Every tile that you can see, I got put on the wall today. Um, I wouldn't say that they're sitting perfect. I can tell by the way they are on top of this two by four. Some of them stick out just slightly more, just a little bit more. So what that means is I have a little bit too much thin set behind the tile, or I'm really not able to like squish the tile hard against the wall, because that is quite difficult to do. When I go to put this hickory up and against the wall, holy crap, that piece almost fits perfect right there. That's funny. You can see how the hickory is gonna cover the tile, and. You know, it looks really good right there. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Man, that's so weird. I'm gonna be able to use this piece of hickory on this part. What are the chances of that? Whatever room this came out of was exactly five foot. These two here are a little bit closer together than maybe a couple of them, but you just gotta take it, you gotta take it for what it is, you know? It's gonna look fine once it's done. Um, I can't sweat the small stuff when it comes to using a material like this. Kinda had enough, tired. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to do the rest. I've done more than a fourth. Maybe a third of the room I've done. I really hope, really hope this 45 turns out good when I'm done. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get going and I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, Sunday fun day. Sarah's here to help. Is that a high five? No. Oh, it looked like you were about to. I was not gonna high five you. <laughs> um, I'm going to mix up some of the thin set this morning and I'm hoping that I can get all this tile set on the wall. Um, Sarah's gonna continue to clean upstairs. Not the most fun, glamorous thing in the world to do, but 
Um, I'm thinking with, with all the new subscribers, we should do like some sort of an updated walkthrough maybe. And before we can do that, we really should clean a little bit. Just makes it that much nicer to walk through and show everybody. And we haven't cleaned upstairs in probably a year. <laughs> To anybody new to the channel, all this flooring upstairs is old bleacher material. We found it on Craigslist and uh, we do look forward to finishing it someday. We have yet to decide on the color or anything like that. It will probably be a while from now. Lucas just had a little mishap and he went to the barn to get another piece because we had one break, which is really surprising. Right there. Oops. I know that there's a lot of people. Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm doing that on purpose. Ah! <laughs> there's a lot of people that think I just know what I'm doing, but I totally don't and I'm freaked out right now. It's kind of funny because I come in here, you know, and I look and you can't see because there's walls now. And you're yeah. like trying to peek in the bathroom through the walls. Yeah, we are kind of used to being able to just see right into the bathroom. Yeah, just see everywhere. <laughs> the joints definitely are not perfect, but, you know, it is what it is. I can't do much better than that. I mean, honestly, I think it adds to it. Like, if it was perfect, it would be weird, you know? Piece of tape, mm -hmm. scotch tape. Scotch tape res residue right there. 1800s scotch <laughs> tape. Yeah. <laughs> scotch tape is probably the best tape if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it before. It's... Usually it just comes, it would, you know. Yeah, it's like scotch tape literally from the 1800s. <laughs> Did they have scotch tape in the 1800s? No. I hope you like it. I love it, actually. <laughs> it's really cool. So my two corners, that corner and that corner turned out perfectly 45. I haven't checked this one yet. Oh, look. Look at this. Mm. It's off you a little, bit, little some, tiny bit. There's sometimes really long, dark lines. Yeah. That's not real. Yeah, I knew that that could come off. Oh. It was, it's paint. Where there used to be a trim piece, and then they painted the trim green. Huh. You can see it all the way down through there, actually. To the bottom, you can see it too. All that will come off, yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize Yeah, there's that. another piece that has that somewhere. I've seen it. This one right here. See it? That green line? That's just, that's paint. And that will come off. That's going to do it for us this week. Thanks for watching, as always. And if you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up. See you next week. Um, I waved weird. I just went like that for no reason. Can we all do like a family high five? No. Yes. No high fives. Stop it. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie. No, not even you. Even you. <laughs> uh.